Hi there, what's up? Today we're gonna create a Node.js CLI application, which is going to get some user input, and based on the input, it will fetch real-time stock market data and convert it into Excel format. So at the very end, you will get an Excel file out of it. So if you're interested, let's get it started. So before moving any forward, you have to make sure that you have Node.js installed on your system. So just to verify that, you can open terminal and type in node minus minus version. And you have to get something like version number, okay? Otherwise, you can go to the nodejs.org and install nodejs for your operating system. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to get some user input. And based on the input, we will get stock market data from Finage API. So basically, Finage API is providing financial data and solutions for everyone. Okay, so how are we going to use it? So just go to the... First of all, you have to sign up for this. I already created an account, so I'm not going to be creating one, but you have to put in email and the password and you're ready to go. Okay, I'm going to sign in with my account coding with titan gmail.com and the password is okay i'm not gonna tell you here you can create free api or widget subscriptions i created free api plan i can make 1000 requests a month actually you can use this free api for the rest of your life so it's okay Okay, after subscribing to the free API plane, you can just go to the API tab and get your API key. And you're all set up. Now let's create our project directory. Okay, I'm going to the projects folder. And so let's create our project folder and call it maybe stock market. Yeah, it's a cool name. Okay change directory into it and make it clear hopefully i'm going to use visual studio code actually there is nothing in it so we're gonna make npm in it okay the package name will be stock market version description and three point will be index.js yes so just hit enter Yes, this is okay. Okay, it just created a package.json file and the main will not be a comma, but index.js, okay? I made a mistake there. Okay, then create index.js folder and open up our terminal. Okay, we're gonna use a bunch of libraries and the finage API. Okay, let's install a couple of packages we're going to use in this project. npm install save and we're going to use dot environment. Just a lot environment variables from that environment file to the actual process that environment object. Okay, we're going to use this and we're going to use read line to get user input. Oxios to make HTTP requests and finally we will use fs extra module to create an excel file okay hit enter and it's done okay we have them in package.json file in the dependencies section so let's go ahead and create a .environment file first and you're gonna have the api key okay I'm gonna delete it later just save it okay let's start requiring our packages here first of all require dot environment and you're gonna call config on it okay what this is what this line is going to do is it will get environment variables in dot nv file okay this file and load them into process that environment dot whatever the name is okay okay let's delete this and we're gonna 
we're gonna use constant fs require fs extra and then we're gonna get read line just to get user inputs require it from read line and we're gonna import auxios from probably auxios quite simple huh okay actually we need to install one more package and it's called json to xls okay we're gonna use this module to convert our json object to excel format hit enter and install it and we're gonna require it here what was it called json to xls require this one okay so after that we're gonna use read line to get user inputs okay first of all we're gonna create the interface for std in and std out and how we're gonna use this is like this okay just copy it I hate that indentation thing and okay so we're gonna ask questions in here and we will get answers in here in the callback okay so what are we gonna ask okay let's see the documentation what was it finage documentation okay Let's go there and stock market aggregates. So this URL is what we're gonna make HTTP calls to. The parameters we need is right in here. Okay, copy it and paste it here. Control Shift 7. Okay, we need the symbol multiply time from and to parameters so if you don't know what the symbol is it's a ticker symbol which is a short version of the company listed on the stock market okay so how can I get them go to the apps and stocks UI and in here you can search for companies and hopefully for the ticker symbol okay for the Google it's G O O G L and for the Amazon it's AMZN. You can get it here. Okay, close this and get the URL here. So we're gonna make HTTP calls to this URL. And we will need the ticker symbol, the multiply, time, from, and to. So we're gonna get these parameters from the user, okay? We're gonna ask the user for the ticker symbol and the multiply and the time. So this is like the interval. This might be one day, one hour, or maybe two months, three weeks. Okay, the interval, this will be the interval. Multiply with the time. So for the from and to, we're gonna create a date range. Okay, for example, we can say 2020 January 2. And from this date to 20, 20, again, okay, let's make it one month later, and the same day, okay, our date range is this one, and multiply and time is going to be the interval, we're gonna get data for this date range, okay, and we're gonna have the interval of one day, one hour, or whatever we want, okay, let's delete this, and this, and just ask for the answers okay what is the ticker symbol and we will get the symbol okay we can access the answer in the callback function 
or we can ask another question. So our question will be, what is the multiply? Okay, you don't have to worry with this. At the end, we get something like that. We're asking user the ticker symbol like Amazon, multiply, time, and start date and the end date. Okay, we have the answers in here. Like we can access the symbol multiply time from and to in here. So basically what we're going to do inside this is we're going to create a function which fetches real time stock data and converts it into Excel format. Okay, so let's call it fetch stock data and pass in the parameters like the symbol multiply the answers we get okay time from and the two okay so up here remove this one and okay let's call it fetch stock data it will be a synchronous function and okay we need a base url so let's create a base url and it will be like this one okay so this is our base url after that we need the symbol multiply time from to and the api key so let's pass the parameters it's going to be symbol multiply time from and to okay so the final url will be like we're gonna do string interpolation in here we have the base url and upon it we're gonna make like the symbol okay we're, we need the symbol so just get it and put another slash we need the multiply another slash and time from and finally the two okay after that we need question mark okay what is it api key let's call it api key and i said you can access the environment variables like process and me and the api key thanks to this npm package okay this one dot environment okay we don't need this anymore just delete it so it looks nice so we have our final URL and let's make a HTTP request. We're going to use Oxus to make HTTP requests. So let's say constant results and await Oxios.get final URL. Okay. So let's just console log what we get. And before running the program, what we're going to do is, so we have the response format and in that we have the results array. Okay. Before doing it, we're going to call this like this. It's going to return data. And inside that we're going to have the results and we're going to print results. So let's run the program again, not index.js so the ticker symbol will be amazon one day interval and the start date will be like this and the end date will be again one month period the same day okay year month and day so we get the data okay so what is that OHLC thing? Okay. It's the 
It's the open price, high price, low price, close price, volume, and the time step. So before making an Excel file out of this results object, we're going to reformat it, okay? So let's say constant format. So the results is an array of objects, okay? It's an array of objects. So we're going to use a map function to loop through this. And what we will return is, let's get it in here, copy it and comment it out, Control shift 7 So for the all, we will say open item.all, okay? We will have high item.h, we will have low for the item.l and what do we have the law and the clause will be item.close finally the volume will be item.volume and the timestamp will be item.t okay so we have our new format and we can convert this data into an Excel file. So how do we do it? So we're going to use this this npm package to do it. I'll say const.xls and json to xls formats. And we're going to use the fs file module to write file synchronously. Okay? Let's call it market data xls and pass in the xls object. And finally, let's make it binary. So we're ready to go. Let's run the program again. Let's say not index.js. And the ticker symbol will be Amazon one day 2020 January 1. Okay, the end date will be one month later and the same day. Okay, let's see. It created the Excel file. It's not gonna open it here. So I'm gonna open the containing folder. Let's see. Okay, we have it. Like we have the column names like open, high, low. It's the same as here, okay? We reformatted it. So it's not going to be O H L C. It's going to be open, high, low, close, just as we want it. So we can select all and make it a little bit larger. Maybe I want them in the middle, okay? And let's change the color to white. Okay, it's in here. And the, this one will be like this. Okay, this is much better. Okay, that's it, guys. We converted our stock market data into Excel formats. And you can do any analysis on it. You can create charts or do whatever you want. Okay, I will provide you the source code in the description below and any useful website you can use. That's it for this video. If you like the content, please subscribe down below. Otherwise, see you.